Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to The Good Life with me, Eileen. We are here on Marketplace Monday, and we're here to open your mind. We are living the good life right here on WBOK 12:30 a.m. We are opening minds to living differently in the world with love, compassion, tolerance, and understanding for ourselves and hopefully everyone else. We do that right here weekdays at 11 a.m. Make sure you tune in. You never want to miss the show. As you know from Friday, you never know what was going to come out of my mouth. Um, so make sure you tune in. Marketplace Monday, Relationship Tuesday, Wellness Wednesday, Gumbo Talk Thursday, and of course Free Spirit Friday. And if you didn't tune into Friday, you can go back and watch the show on line on our Facebook page. That is the Good Life Radio Show on Facebook. I will be downloading it to Spreaker and YouTube and yeah. So <laughs> so make sure you tune in. Um, just for a short uh, recap, every Friday uh, I will be opening up a little bit uh, with regard to my story and get look at Henry's face. Because Henry has been knowing about this. I've had people ministering to me about this. And they're like, Eileen, it's time. Eileen, it's time. I'm like, mm-mm, who wants to know my story? I don't have anything interesting to talk about. And they were like, mm. So anyway, every Friday I'll give a little bit about my story. As you know, um, if you did listen, uh, God has put a book in my heart. And so each time I will give a little, uh, just something I'm clear about and give you a little background on that. So maybe it pours into your life and, you know, you can live the good life too. So I am here with, uh, I would say Pastor Henry Bolden, mm-hmm. but he's not Pastor Henry Bolden anymore. I'm really kind of excited Henry about this. Bolden, that's what I, I know, but <laughs> I do want to, I do want to give you a shout out, uh, because <laughs> You've had a very special time in your life, and I'd like you to, you know, just tell the listeners what what went on. And you got to scoot over, y'all. He doesn't like to be in my feed. I don't understand why. But if you do want to see what's going on in studio, please, (laughs) please follow us on all of our social media platforms. That is uh, at TGL Radio Show, at TGL Radio Show, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We are live on Instagram right now. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Instagram and and Facebook. And we're live on WBOK, my personal page, and the Good Life Radio Show. I just figured I'd just throw it all in there now that. I'm out of Facebook jail. Right, I'm like, right. yes. You know, and I got out of Facebook jail just She's in time back. for Friday. Yeah. So yeah, I am yeah. back. I am in full effect. I am excited. So, and I'll tell you a little bit about that after. Yes. Henry gives I his wanna... great news. So, Henry, I... tell us what's going on. What's going What happened I'm last here. week? Last week. What happened last well, week? Well, he doesn't uh... want to tell. Oh, I. Tell. I can tell. <laughs> Yes, well, I, he, he don't I, tell. Like he I acts was, like he didn't. Like I you know. was consecrated to the office of bishop last <gasps> week. So he was consecrated to the office yeah. of bishop last night. Yeah, I mean not last, last night, last, last week. week. Yeah. I just want to congratulate you. Oh, uh, we you are so very much. proud of you. Thank All you of so the, much. you know, you pour into so many people, and you know, you really have, you know, walked the walk, wow. and we're just very proud of you. And we're proud to have it. you a part of the Good Life Radio Show family. I'm more proud than I am. I love really. Yeah, I love my. You're gonna make me blush on air. Yes. Don't make me blush on air. Don't make me blush I love on it. I love you it. love it? You I love do. it? Well, that's the good life. I'm glad you love it. Yes. Because there is a shift. Yeah. There is a shift going on. I don't even have the show planned out today. There yeah. is a shift. Um, for all of you who know me or don't know me or are getting to know me due to me. Who doesn't know you? Do you where where, you, where do you live if you don't know Eileen Carter? None of your where business. You where living? do I live? No, where do they live if they <laughs> oh, don't do know they you? Yeah. I don't know, but they, they'll know soon, huh? They absolutely We're will. working on it. We're working on it. God, God willing, but we're working on it. Yeah. And so, you know, it, it's just time. There is a shift going on in our community. We'll get into that in a minute. There's mm-hmm. a shift going on with our money, with our finances. We'll get into that. And there's a shift going on in our lives and most importantly, our minds. Yeah. Our minds, because that is where all of this is going to take place. That is where the birth um, becomes. Uh, I will say, you know, after Friday, like you can't shame me. Absolutely. You can't shame me. I don't live in fear. I don't. I'm not unhappy. I feel relief. I feel blessed. Do you know the walk it takes to live shameless and fearless? I'm not saying I'm totally fearless because, you know, there's stuff where I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this. And, you know, you get like the the butterflies in your stomach or something. And and that's good stuff, you know. But, you know, that fear of like somebody outing you or like, you know, or like, you know, whatever it is for you, whether, you know, you may not have finished school and, you know, Mm -hmm. you see that as something negative, Mm -hmm. whether you had a divorce, you had a breakup, whether I don't know what it is for you. It it could have been abuse. It could have been that you have an addiction. Whatever it is, there is a shift. It's time to let the bags go. There is no reason to keep yourself in bondage anymore because guess what? We are all in this together and everybody has something. 
Everybody has something. If they say they don't have something, you need to walk in another lane because they're just not there yet. And it's okay. I'm not judging anybody because guess yeah. what? I wasn't there for a long time. Yeah. You know, I started, you know, quietly telling my family and friends. But, you know, I was like, let it out. Yeah. You can't shame me anymore. There's no fear. And I'm like, I had yeah. the best weekend. I hung out with my girls. I was just happy. I had friends in town. Like, you know, it was just it was just good. And, you know, there's nothing like and Bobby talked about this on Wednesday. There's nothing like joy. Yeah. You can be happy. And she's like, happiness, you know, she's like, but when you have joy, ooh, you have something going on. And so there's a shift and I would love for everyone to experience joy. And so with uh, with regard yeah. to our community, I want to hit our community first because we have y'all. Henry's going to be with me the whole show. So I'm really excited. Yeah, about it. I'm the hanging whole out today. Show. So there. Yeah, they got, let me do that every now and then. We you got know? the Henry hangout. <laughs> like if somebody gets stuck at the airport and they can't make the show, they'll be like, oh, that is can not you come why. to the whole show with us? <laughs> that is, that's not why. Telly no, that's not true. Account, that's just not why. That's really Yeah, bad. Telly is, um, he's taking a class or something yeah. So in Boston. So yeah. shout out to Telly. We love you. Be, come home safely. Yeah. But real talk with regard to our community, you know, our uh, uh, qualifying ended recently, um, but and, and we're speaking on a local level, but just in general, we have elections coming up, yeah. you know, in 2018 and y'all, it's basically, you know, coming to the end of 2017. So it's coming quicker than you think. Yeah. But if we want to have this shift in our community, if we want to have this shift in our environment, in our world, in our country, we have to shift our mind. We have to shift our thinking and we have to shift. Oh, you know, me voting doesn't count. It does, whether, you know, you don't want to, I don't want to say you want to shame somebody into voting or, right. you know, fear brace. I don't want to do that. You I want, want to you to do them. it. You yes. want to provoke them to think because the whole issue is nothing ever changes in your reality. It does not change in your mentality first. Mm, wait, ooh, you know I have to have you repeat <laughs> that now. You know you have to repeat that now. Nothing changes in your reality except that it's first preceded by a change of mentality. Mm, mm, and so relative to your local government, local uh, relative to the shifting of circumstances within the community, uh, you can't just sit on the sideline and wish things were differently. You have to be actively engaged. Um, you have to have a, a sense of consistency relative to the change you desire to see and the much-needed change that has to happen. And so if you're going to accomplish anything at all, then it has to be uh, it has to be a deliberate shift. Um, mm. The interesting things it's about good, sh- about shifting, even when you think about it, even in terms of your car, shifts cannot happen until there's there's first a braking. Hello. Time out. The- there's first a what? Breaking. Let that break be in your relationships. Yeah. Let that break be in your finances. Yes. Let that break be, I'm sorry, y'all, sometimes it has to be a family member. Let that break be in employment circumstances. I don't mean just like run away from it. Right. But I mean like get your mind right. Well, you know yeah. what? I'm not going to be here for 10 years. No. I'm going to go cr- start walking the walk to have my own business. Absolutely. Go ahead, Henry. Well, you can sit in your car all day in front of your house, but until you depress the brake and put it in drive, you won't go anywhere. And so wait, 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 how many of us aren't going anywhere? And it's not because we lack the potential or the power or the horsepower behind us. A lot of us are sitting on engines that could move us into places that we desire in idealistic circumstances. But we don't take the initiative, nor are we determined to put ourselves in a position where we could drive at the fullest of our potential. Mm, some of us don't put ourselves in position. No. So you mean God's waiting on us? Absolutely. Instead of a lot of people under the misconception. Oh, what are you doing? I'm waiting on God. Child, what am I? Doing? Well, I'm fasting a day. I'm fasting a whole week. I'm gonna get off Facebook for five. That's some of the crazy stuff I've been. In. I'm gonna I'm gonna break from Facebook for 18 days. Well, after you get through breaking from Facebook, you still <laughs> got to get up. You still have to employ some action. Faith without works is dead. You dead. cannot segregate works from faith. You can believe all you want, but that belief has to drive you into a point of action, a point of shifting. And, you know, I mean, you know, it's Marketplace Monday, and, yeah. you know, this is for so many different things. We'll get into the money after the break. Yeah. But speaking of that, because I'm sitting here drinking my my, my green concoction, 
I could, I, I could want to be healthier all I want. Absolutely. But until I start doing something each and every day and being consistent in that action, nothing is going to change. So with, gar- with regard to our community, you know, we're talking about, you know, uh, getting out there and educating yourselves yeah. on, on what's going on. Yeah. And I'm not even, t- it, I mean, just uh, resources wise, sometimes it's, it's knowing what resources are available because there's so many times where I hear people who call into the station or, you know, or doing business with us or have an event or have a scholarship or something. They're like, we got two people to respond and we had, you know, a $10,000 scholarship. I'm like, what? $10,000? Like, right. Let, right. let me know about that. They're like, oh, your son's too young. I'm like, you can save it for him if you right. want to. Like, right. you know, he just got accepted into the honors program at St. Augs. I was yeah. like, you know, you hold that 10 on him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm saying, but, you know, that that response isn't always there. And right. so we need to have a shift in our mentality saying, Yes, we can. So many times we sit back and we see resources that are available or we see things that are there or, yeah. you know, the book I'm supposed to write. And I'm yeah. like, oh, somebody else. And I'm watching everybody. I'm watching everybody write books around me. Yeah. And I'm like, well, why haven't I done it? Or you sit there so long that your idea gets taken by somebody else. And then you're upset. Like, you know, that was my idea first, <laughs> but they right. acted on it first. Right. Right. So it's Marketplace Monday. y'all. What you doing to what you doing, to, you know. To, to build your pockets, your legacy. Because yeah. we're not just talking about us anymore. We're talking about generational wealth. We're yeah. talking about, you know, wealth for your children and your children's children. That's what I want. I want to leave a legacy. Yeah. I want to leave a legacy. I want love, compassion, tolerance, and understanding, and I want a legacy. And I want it for myself first. Because, yeah. you know, I had to start with myself. Because if I can't give love to myself, I really can't show you love because I can't even show you how I need to be loved. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm on it. You are so on it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I told you I was going to have a headache. Yeah, I, I felt like it was going to be one of these kind of days, too. <laughs> Did I you? I just felt it this morning, yeah. <laughs> mm, I still have more. Go ahead, Henry. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, shifting is a deliberate action. You cannot sit around and nonchalantly allow your life to go in whatever direction that the wind dic- dictates or mm-hmm. others dictate. You have to get up every day. Wait, 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 wait. Or others? Or others. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. You cannot allow your life to be dictated or governed or driven by the opinions of others. Others. Because what do you mean by that? most people will only drive you as far as their own limitations. Wait, what? Most people only drive. This is as far as I went, so I could, I'm going to just bring you to here because there's no way possible you can do more than I've done because I've attempted it. I've tried to do it. But you can't let other people kind of forecast your future based on their perceived fears mm. and their actual or either perceived limitation. You might have stopped there, but that doesn't mean I must stop there. And you know what? I have a true story for Marketplace Monday since, yes. you know, it, 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 we're talking about community and, and businesses and stuff like this. Yeah. I was working with someone mm-hmm. and, you know, they were going through stuff and their mind wasn't right. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, but well, come on, we're a team. Yeah. Like, you know. I, I got all this together, you know, I, let, let's go take the next step. Let's take the next step. And I procrastinated because it's my own fault yeah. and didn't move forward because I'm waiting on somebody else to get their stuff together so we can do it together. Sometimes you have to let go so that you can go forward, whether it be an employee, whether if there's a cancer in your business, whether it be, you know, in your community, if there's a community organization and one person continues to lag on their piece, you know what? Take the piece away from them and when they're ready, you know, give it back. But you can't let the organization fall. You can't let your community fall. You can't let your city, your city council just district fall because mm-hmm. someone isn't doing their job. We have got to step up and take accountability for ourselves and for our community. And we have to just stop saying it. Oh, but they're my friend. Cause guess what? They were my friend <laughs> and I love them. Yeah. I absolutely adore them, yeah. but that doesn't mean that they're getting stuff done that needs to be done. I can adore you and I can still love you, but I can still be about my business. And you have Real to talk. be, and you, you have to be. And more often than not, sadly enough, that's generally the case. Um, as much as you would wish that everybody who's connected to you, around you, who you're involved with or engaged with in any kind of relationship, you want them to, to go yes. with you. But what you would discover who is to go alone? you cannot you pull to. people into a future they're not qualified for, nor are they ready to accept that you're ready for it. So there's always going to be this tension, Wait, this say that pull. Again. You all <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's always going to be this tension. You cannot pull people or drag people into a future they're not qualified for. You cannot drag someone as into much a as you want to see them with it. They aren't qualified for it. as much as you want. To you want to see them enjoy you know this why? level because you see their potential. You see their potential. But guess what? You have potential too. Absolutely. With or without them. With or without them. God made us all independent 
of anybody else's input to be successful. Now, it's welcome. It's complimentary. Yes. Uh, it's, it's, you know, yes. uh, it's beneficial to me and to have you. sometimes you're supposed to have joint ventures. Absolutely. Sometimes you're... Sometimes but, it's supposed to, but, but you have to know, have discernment. Yes. And know, yes. ah, yes, yes. you got to have it. You got to have it. We're going to take a quick break, and yes. we're going to talk about that when Come we get back. Come back, y'all. Hurry Come up. back. Come it back. is Marketplace Come Monday. Back. We're going to get into into the money, into the finances. You have to have discernment. Know when to, know when to hold them and know, know when, when to, to fold them. them. We're going to take a quick break. Mm-hmm. It is Marketplace Monday. I am your host, Eileen Carter. I have none other than Bishop Henry Bolden, Just the third, <laughs> in the studio with me today. He is here I'll all day, here. y'all. We are having a Henry takeover. It is a good life, y'all. We'll be right back. Isagenix is one of the fastest growing companies in the world because their products work. Their solutions and culture has redefined the health and wellness industry. Science backs their products and statistics back their success. But it's the people who make them successful. And I, Eileen Carter, have joined the Isagenix revolution. I've used the products and followed their system, and I swear by them. I'm on my journey of transformation and invite you to join Join me and try Isagenix today. Challenge yourself and change your life. Find information and testimonials at thegoodliferadioshow.isagenix.com. 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 Order yours today. Small businesses play an important role in society, and LNR Security is no different. LNR Security delivers safety and comfort to our neighborhoods, events, apartment communities, conventions, work sites, festivals, and your business. LNR Security can be reached at 504-943-3191 to ensure the safety of your employees, customers, family, friends, and you. LNR Security has made its mark in the security arena for over 37 years and will faithfully continue that tradition. Call today for your personal personalized consultation to ensure your security needs are met. LNR Security differentiates itself by creating partnerships with our clients and guards. We are now hiring armed and unarmed guard professionals, retired military, sheriffs, and PD to grow with us and impact our community. Be a part of the change with LNR Security. Call us now at 504-943-3191. 504-943-3191. At Liberty, it's never been easier to bank with us. Go to www.LibertyBank.net and apply for a checking account to gain immediate access to our wide range of services, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. At our new Gentilly branch, use the ATM not only to withdraw, but also to deposit money into your account whenever convenient for you. Go to www.LibertyBank.net. Open an account now and enjoy the freedom of 24-7 banking with Liberty. There's freedom here. And don't forget to use promo code WBOK. You might think it's just another day, but at Metro Disposal, this is our day. For more than 25 years, Metro Disposal has been a vital resource for waste management in our community. With state-of-the-art equipment and technology, we are committed to providing a cleaner, safer, healthier environment. This is our community. This is Metro Disposal. The Good Life Radio Show is a proud WBOK block programmer. To advertise with The Good Life Radio Show, call 504-400-7127. 504-400-7127. Open your mind and grow with The Good Life Radio Show today. That's 504-400-7127. Hi, this is Mark Morial, and I'm living the good life with Eileen Carter. Tune in to The Good Life Radio Show weekdays from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. so you can live the good life, too. Good morning, good morning, good morning. 
morning and welcome to The Good Life with me, Eileen. We are here on Marketplace Monday and we're here to open your mind. We are living a good life right here on WBOK 1230 AM. We are opening minds to living differently in the world with love, compassion, tolerance, and understanding for ourselves and everyone else. We do that right here on WBOK. That's where we are. Yes, right here, it is. W-B-O-K. I think yeah, that's where we are. Yep. Oh, I had that's to redesign. Yeah, that's where we are. And we do it weekdays Make sure at 11. Make sure you tune in. You never want to miss a show. But if you do, you can follow us on Facebook Live. All of our shows are there. If you ever miss a show, you want to share a show, I believe that the share button is the most underutilized button in the entire world. We can build businesses. We can build brands. We can do all kind of stuff. Just share. Please share. Share me. So we're also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and that is at TGL Radio Show, at TGL Radio Show. If you're experiencing something, if you're doing something, and you feel like it's the good life, please hashtag us. Hashtag us, the good life radio show. Hashtag the good life radio show. Why? Because it's the good life. Right. So I want to make sure y'all tune in. We have a very special segment now on um, Fridays. It's my story through my eyes. It'll be it's little tidbits of things. Oh, it'll incredible. be little things that I'm clear about. And for all of you who listen to me, know that I always say I'm clear. So my friends yes. would make fun of me, or everybody at the station, they're like, "You say I'm clear." So these are <laughs> things that I'm clear on. I'm clear that I'm clear that I'm clear. I'm crystal diamond clear so listen i've never seen anyone clearer just right just right right and free spirit friday isn't only about being a free spirit because i am but it's also about freeing your spirit see how there's a play on words you like that that, you like that so i am here with bishop henry bolden the third i know he was just elevated last week and i'm so excited and proud of him he doesn't like to talk about it so i talk about it for him (laughs) so we're we're here and we've been discussing a shift there is a shift taking place in our environment in our world in our relationships in our hearts and you know it starts in our our minds and you know i want to just talk about it a little bit financially it is marketplace monday we have a lot of business owners we have a lot of you know people who are working well not a lot everybody everybody has to do something you know Mm -hmm. whatever it is that you do i want to help them shift their their mind frame with regard to their finances i don't want them to be stuck in a rut you know henry you are so inspiring especially you know with you know your wealth series and things like that please Mm -hmm. pour into us a little bit and give us you know how discernment uh does play a role in that well i think uh what as we as we started in the earlier segment that again all shifts happen in your mind in your mind um you will never possess anything that is not first projected from your mind your mind your everything around you in your environment gravitates toward the direction of your mentality as a man thinking in his heart, so is he, or so what you desire appears. Mm. So you have to constantly, you know, you have to really meditate on how much do I need? How much do I want? I want everything. Yeah. And, and so <laughs> most people, but they stop at the want. Mm. And that want never translates into active pursuit because pursuit is proof of desire. Hmm. That if I really desire something, then it's it's obvious to me. I know what you desire because it comes out in your conversation, your whole body language, your every activity you engage in, the people to whom you surround yourself dictate. It's evident that, OK, you want millionaire status or you want worldwide publication or you want to be in a, a novelist. All of these things become evident based on your language, your body language, your conversation, and your company. What do I look like today? You look like a million bucks today. <laughs> like if I, <laughs> you're like a million million bucks today. Oh. And so that's why I'm million, here. With, with she's like, come through. I'm like, okay, cool. I gotta look like my company has to look like my confession. And so True. that's what you ought to keep in your mind. Your company should look like your confession, and then your cash starts to look like your company and your confession. Mm, then your cash starts to look like your – Yeah. So you have, mean it have, doesn't just roll – like the finances aren't going to come through without me doing something? No, first? no, no. You, you have to do something. And then your, your your money has a certain company it likes. When you look at Warren Buffett and you look at the room he's always sitting in, there's always at least two, three other – two, three, four other millionaire billionaires hanging around in just, the wings just somewhere. Just hanging around. Yeah, because you, you gravitate to what you want to become and some of us are aspiring up but we're attracting down we're aspiring up but we are attracting down or more Mm. uh, more precisely we are entertaining down 
You can't run with people on the same level as you. You have to find somebody that's doing what you're doing at the level you want to do it at and attach yourself to them. Play the role of um, uh, of somebody who's interested enough to just, I just want to be around them. I don't have to say anything. I don't yes. have to do anything. I just want to be there as an observant. Because yes. when you observe, observe, observation is the prerequisite for the overflow you desire. Anybody wants to be in broadcasting and want to do broadcasting on great levels and has, you know, ideas of doing it, you ought to just kind of shadow Eileen Carter. Just say, hey, listen, I don't want anything. I'm not bothering you. I just, just let me just hang out with you. Let me just sit and see how you do what you do. And so that becomes the shift. The shift has to be intentional. But it's funny that you say that, Henry, because I was at um, an event last night and that was one of the messages. It was that you can't go, you can't let somebody take you off of your place. Yeah. You, you can't let, and I don't want to call it a pedestal, but you can't let somebody take you off of your platform. Let's call it that. Yeah. You can't let somebody yeah. bring you back down. You've already been there. You can't go back. And she gave the example of um, Prophetess uh, Francina. So shout out to her. She was amazing last night. So, she gave the example of, you know, she's like, when I fly now, I fly. I'm in first class. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I've, I've worked all these years. You know, I've mm-hmm. worked up to this. You know, I fly in first class. Mm-hmm. And she said there was there, there was a plane that she was riding in. You know, they had to put her on another carrier entirely uh-huh. to go where she was going because something happened. And so they were out of first class seats. And yeah. so she had to ride coach. Yeah. And she was like. I was in coach and she's like, this isn't even comfortable. This is not where I'm used to being. This is not where I, you know, this is not where I belong. And so she gave that example, but it was so powerful because how many of us are sitting in coach and we really need to be in first class Mm -hmm. and you've experienced it. You've been in first class, but you know what? Your business has had a little lull. Mm -hmm. So you've had to go back. Well, why are you staying there? You know what it feels Mm -hmm. like. You know where you need to be. Get your stuff together. Figure Mm -hmm. out who is around you that doesn't need to be around you and bring your back yourself back to first class. Because how many seats do they have in first class? Not that (laughs) many. (laughs) How many seats do they have in coach? Eagles don't fly with pigeons. Get your mind right. Get the pigeons out your way for your for you monetarily, for your mind, for your spirit, for your heart. You may love them. They you may have been with them for five years. They may have a great partnership. It may be your brother. I can love you, but I can't do business with you anymore. It could be, you know, your cousin. It could be somebody you're in love with. I love you, but I can't do business with you anymore because you're not handling your end of the bargain. I have to do this for me, my child, my legacy, whatever it is. You have to start removing the pigeons out of your life so you can fly. There is a shift going on and catch hold of it. uh, Feel yourself in the wind because as people, just like you say, when people are around you going through this shift, it makes it a little easier to fly. You know, you can coast a little bit. You can catch a little bit of their wind. Don't, how are you going to catch a pigeon's wind? I want to catch an eagle's wind. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I'm going to surround myself with eagles, you know, and and you go visit eagles because they don't fly. Together. Right. You know, you, you go around right. them, you catch right. a little information, and then you be who you are. Absolutely. Because you sure. may get that information from them. They may give you a tidbit, but you are made to do your thing, your lane. You are blessed with your own ideas. Take them. Stop telling everybody your idea. Because guess what? Oh, you can't do that. You know how many people have told me to get off the radio? <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm so serious. Do you know how many people like, you know, you're not going to be able to afford yourself for the rest of your life. You're, you, you, where is this going? This isn't going to work. Like, you, like, you, you, don't you need a 401k? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you know what? I believe in this. This is my passion. I know where God has put me and I'm not confused. And so as long as he has put me here, I know that he has a plan and I'm not letting mm-hmm. any pigeon mess with my mind and get in my thought process because I know what I'm here for. I may love you dearly. It could be your man. It could yeah. be a woman. It yeah. could be a family member. I don't care who it is. If you know who you are, be steadfast in your faith and move forward. Walk the walk. Be an eagle. That's the same thing the person at the TV station said to Oprah Winfrey when they fired her. Really? <laughs> You're no good for TV. You're no Play good. Play with me if you want to. You're no good on the eyes. You're not attractive to audiences. And, you know, you never draw, hmm. you know, audiences. And, and look at where she is. And at the pinnacle of Just her saying. career, what happened? She can't. People, 
what some of the things that stop people from taking the necessary plunge or the ship in my opinion the number one thing that really does it is procrastination and we mm. talked about it a little bit earlier because what procrastination really deals with at the core it's an attention deficit um it is an attention deficit as well as a undeveloped sensation for accomplishment ooh who explain that henry How, wait number one repeat <laughs> it and then explain it it deals with an attention deficit. When I counsel people to talk to people, it's it's really an attention deficit as well as an undeveloped sensation for accomplishment. Hmm. Um, undeveloped sensation of for accomplishment. for accomplishment. You procrastinate. You, Henry. you procrastinate because you don't see the incentive in the initiative you have to take to get what it is you want. Wow. And so because you're oblivious to the incentive or the gain, and consequently, it's easy for you to put this off. It's easy for you to say this is not important. And, and you have no distinction between what's necessary from unnecessary, what's mandatory or who's mandatory from who's not mandatory. And because of that, you don't have a developed sense of accomplishment. People who have a sense of accomplishment, they don't prolong things. They don't put off things. They, they live with mm. a sense of urgency. They get up every day. The alarm clock doesn't wake them up. Their purpose does. Say it again. <laughs> their alarm, the clock, alarm clock, clock doesn't, doesn't wake, wake them up. up. Their, their purpose, purpose wakes them up. I want to be one of those people. My purpose wakes me up. Yeah. I know because I was like, I popped up this morning. <laughs> I was like, my purpose is to put these jogging, these running shoes on <laughs> to go run, and to go refill lake. my. Right. Because I went to the store, refilled my greens and yeah. my vegetables because yeah. I was out, got home, went over the show, and then got dressed and got here. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Yes. Yeah. Yes. So the shift has to be intentional. You have to ward off being a procrastinator and you have to shun procrastinators from around your immediate environment. Because when you're a procrastinator, what generally happens is, whether you know it or not, is that you start to look for distractions. Mm. which is a little different from like a satanic attack or somebody's trying to distract you. Procrastinators actually look for distractions. They they look for their own distractions. They they will put off some, oh, I'm going to watch TV. I'm going to do this. I'm going I'm to just relieve I'm gonna my on mind. Social media. Yeah, I'm going to do that Isn't for a minute. Isn't it crazy how you can get on mind. social media and an hour and a half later you're like, where did the time go and what have I been doing? You've been like <laughs> looking over posts and videos for an hour and a half. Or more than that. I know people who there. get on there and they be on there until the battery dies and they charge it and like, get oh, right back on it. I need the charger. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Oh, break away. Step yeah. away from the phone. Yeah. iPad. Electronics. Stop procrastinating. Stay engaged in the endeavor you're in. That's some good information, Henry. You got to stay That's engaged. some good. You know, good information always flows kind of like when I'm with you right here. So I kind of like to make sure I do this once a week so I can <laughs> give it to you. I, I inspire you. You're such a muse. You know, it's like. I, I like that word. People, people, I will take it. <laughs> I'm like, amused. Where do you get all this? Stuff? How do you? I don't know. It's just, you, and it's again, you got to be with the right company. You got to be around the right people that stimulates your creativity, gets your mind going. You do. But There's I think, no I, th that. I think that's, that's a great point because we bounce off of each other yeah, because yeah. I literally have no no notes for this <laughs> uh -huh, show today. Uh -huh. I was like, Henry, I don't need notes. I'm feeling prophetic today. Like, I don't need any notes. Right. We're just, we're just going to talk and yeah. it's just going to come out the way that God wants it to come out because yeah. that's just where I am right now yeah. in my life. Yeah. Like, it's, it's just going to come out. Yeah. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need a note. I just know what I'm talking about. And for each and every one of you, you know, there's, there's a lot of us who, Henry, and we talked about this, well, actually we didn't, but, you know, confusion mm -hmm. with regard to the procrastination. Yeah. You just, you're looking, you want to move, but you don't know where to go and you're just frozen. Anybody feel like that? Mm -hmm. You just feel like you're frozen. Like, I want to do it. I can see it. I know I have it in me, but I'm frozen. I just don't, ugh, I just, I, I, I can't get it out of me. No matter how hard I try, you know, I'm feeling like I'm yeah. hitting my head against the yeah. wall. Yeah. It's like I'm just filled with confusion. Like, and then you're stuck and you're frozen and you just don't go anywhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that procrastination or how does that work? Or it like, is. what, what, what is that? It is. It's, it, it, it all has the same signature. It deals with lack of internal motivation. Mm. Most people's uh, animation is programmed to think I need somebody else to light my fuse or I need somebody else to give me that push when Ooh. you have to train yourself to have that internal mechanism that you have your own self-generated ignition switch on the inside 
that says I'm motivating myself. I'm encouraging myself. You got to look your cute self I in the mirror myself. every day My cute and self say, in the I yes. am phenomenal. I, it, it does matter what you say to yourself about yourself. It does. And I'm going to tell you how I have started to do this. Yeah. And we're going to talk about it a little bit more yeah. right after the yeah. break. But I have made myself an I love you. An, well, actually, an I love me playlist. <laughs> You're laughing, but I am so serious. Um, I have made myself an I Love Me playlist, and I play it for myself, and I get my mind right. I have Phenomenal by Eminem on it. I have... Um, look at people saying, she's so vain. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Sometimes you have to... I talk, we talk about love, compassion, tolerance, yeah. and understanding for ourselves. Yeah. We go yeah. through so yeah. much throughout the day. You have we to hear negativity. Yourself. There is stuff coming at you. Yeah. You know, the boss or the job or the employee Absolutely. came at you one yeah. way. Your kids came at you. Your significant other's not talking to you. Yeah. They came at you crazy. You know, whatever it <laughs> is like you have to do it for yourself if yeah. you can't do it for yourself first how are you gonna help anybody else right and we are here to be givers aren't we absolutely we are here to be givers so if you can't give to yourself and fill yourself up what type of good life can you live and i want everybody to live the good life i want everybody to live free i want everybody to have joy joy that no one can take away from you yes oh yes y'all get your mind right get your money right get your, <laughs> get your heart right get get gener generational y'all we're gonna take a quick break and we're gonna get more into come exactly back. how we do these things come back go get yes. something to drink and come back don't Hurry. go too far yeah. pull up pull it up on <laughs> facebook see what we're doing yeah. all right y'all we'll be right back Small businesses play an important role in society, and LNR Security is no different. LNR Security delivers safety and comfort to our neighborhoods, events, apartment communities, conventions, work sites, festivals, and your business. LNR Security can be reached at 504 943 3191 to ensure the safety of your employees, customers, family, friends, and you. LNR Security has made its mark in the security arena for over 37 years and will faithfully continue that tradition. Call today for your personal personalized consultation to ensure your security needs are met. LNR Security differentiates itself by creating partnerships with our clients and guards. We are now hiring armed and unarmed guard professionals, retired military, sheriffs, and PD to grow with us and impact our community. Be a part of the change with LNR Security. Call us now at 504 943 3191. 504 943 3191. Isagenix is one of the fastest growing companies in the world. Because because their products work. Their solutions and culture has redefined the health and wellness industry. Science backs their products and statistics back their success. But it's the people who make them successful. And I, Eileen Carter, have joined the Isagenix revolution. I've used the products and followed their system, and I swear by them. I'm on my journey of transformation and invite you to join me and try Isagenix today. Challenge yourself and change your life. Find information and testimonials at thegoodliferadioshow.isogenics.com. Thegoodliferadioshow.isogenics.com. Thegoodliferadioshow.isagenix.com. Order yours today. Universal Printing in New Orleans East is the place to go for all of your digital printing needs. Universal Printing offers a wide range of printing services and promotional products. They handle everything from business cards to personalized prescription pads. They even print yard signs, banners, and vehicle magnets. Stop by Universal Printing at 9900 Lake Forest Boulevard in New Orleans East near Reed. Or give them a call at 504-244-1177. That's 504-244-1177. Come on down to Universal Printing and let the experts handle all of your printing, marketing, and promotional needs so you don't have to. Come on, roll with the RTA. You ask for more and now there's new bus shelters for your comfort. 2,000 new bus signs. More information at your fingertips with online and SMS texting. And more ways to buy fares. Go to NORTA.com to explore. 
from New Orleans East to the Lower Nine, we got you covered. Dirt Town, Uptown, Downtown, to the Algiers Point, and all in between. Rolling for everybody, everywhere. That RTA keeps New Orleans rolling. Visit Stanwood's Haberdashery at 1901 Manhattan Boulevard in Harvey. At Stanwood's Haberdashery, you can sort through a selection of high-end men's fine clothing, men's accessories, and so much more. You can check out name brands from Tiglio Soups and Shirts, Stephen Land Shirts, Karuchi Shoes, and more. At Stanwood's, you'll find high quality but affordable prices. You can visit for a vast selection of hats, suits, custom suits, bow ties, socks, sports coats, and tuxedos. If you're looking for quality, integrity, and style, Stanwood's Haberdashery is your one-stop shop for all of your men's clothing needs. Come see us at 1901 Manhattan Boulevard in the Fountain Park Center Mall in Harvey or visit us on Instagram at Stanwood Style 504 or give us a call at 504-227-2582. It's Stanwood Haberdashery. Quality, integrity, style. WBOK, 1230 AM, The People's Station. Good Life with me, Eileen. We are here on Marketplace Monday, and we're here to open your mind. We are living the good life right here on WBOK, 1230 AM. We are opening minds, living differently in the world with love, compassion, tolerance, and understanding for ourselves and hopefully everyone else. We do that right here weekdays at 11 AM. You never, ever, ever want to miss a show. Like ever. Never, ever. E- like never, ever, ever. No. Never, ever. And you don't ever have to miss a show because we do all of our shows live right on Facebook. Follow me, please. The Good Life Radio Show. The Good Life Radio Show. And guess what I figured out, Henry? Yes. Okay, so like on Facebook, like your, your business pages or uh-huh. like your radio pages or whatever. So uh-huh. I have a radio page. Uh-huh. So I figured, I was like, oh, there's like there's a number of likes and there's a number of follows and i really thought it was like the same amount but it isn't it's two different numbers yeah. so i have broken out to about 35,000 people wow. so i need y'all's help to like you know go to the next level i know 50,000 50,000 by the end of the week on. that's Come what we're on. working on that's what we're working on so right now it's like 17,000 a little bit more than it's 17,000 for each uh-huh. so it makes about uh-huh. 35,000 uh-huh. so i need y'all's help we're going to we're going to break this through we're going to reach the world and we are going to share the good life love time Tolerance, compassion, understanding. I think everybody could use a little bit of it. Everybody can. I know I can. Yeah, me too. And, and you know what? When I talk about it, doing it for ourselves, we're talking about how do we do it. And so before the break, I was talking about how I create a, a playlist for myself. Like I get your mind right, you know. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. sometimes, you know, you need to talk to somebody. Yeah. And so real talk, y'all know what, you know, I, I, I opened myself up last week. And so just last week in general, I was having like a little mm, week. I was just like, you know, they had just lots of stuff going on in my life. And I was just having a, uh. and you know what? I spoke to somebody that I had that I've been knowing since I was 20 years old and I was on a phone about five minutes with him and he was like, I can't tell you what he said, but long story short, <laughs> in about five minutes, he reminded me exactly who I am. And I was like, yeah, huh? That is, yeah, Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, when you were like, mm, yeah, y'all know y'all had that low moment and yeah. like you forgot who you were. Right. I'm like. I, I I had forgotten who I was, and I was like, you know what? I am Eileen. You are Henry, and for every whoever out there, you are who you are. We are all here for our purpose. Yeah. And in five minutes, I got my mind right, and I was <laughs> like, thank you very much. But that's what friends are for. That's yeah. what it means yeah. when you surround yourself with eagles, because it took five minutes to get my mind right, and I was like, what am I doing? What am I dealing with? Why am I dealing with this? Do you know who I am? And not in a mean way, not in an arrogant way, not yeah. in a nasty way, not like that at all, but just like, I, number one, I'm way. a child of God. Like, start there but two like yes definitively I like i deserve greatness absolutely i deserve love yes. i deserve all of these things that i that that we all deserve yeah we all deserve these things so i want each and every one of you out there to remember exactly who you are you are amazing you are wonderful you are phenomenal you mm-hmm. are 
on you are on top you just have to remember that you are absolutely don't let anybody take you down and, and he, uh, henry was messing with me during the break <laughs> saying that I, I made i made the playlist saying i love me and people are gonna think i'm arrogant <laughs> number one i don't live in fear and shame anymore, so i really don't care what you gotta say but nonetheless make a playlist for you whatever that music is yeah. for you because guess what get your mind right because as soon as you walk out the door there's gonna be a naysayer but you have loved on yourself so much before you walk down the door their opinion does doesn't matter because you know what Henry hmm. other people's opinion of you really doesn't matter and I know you know people like mm, but truly yeah. truly because generally it's a reflection of how they feel about themselves yeah don't take anything personally yeah. because it's a reflection of how they're feeling. I had a conversation with somebody and they poured on me and I was like, I don't feel good after this conversation. <laughs> and then I had to realize that they were going through something in their right, life. And I was yeah, like, yeah. that's why I don't feel good. Yeah. Because it's you draining. taking your pain yeah. and putting it in this situation mm -hmm. and then giving me advice. Mm -hmm. That's not working too well. Mm -hmm. And I felt worse than I did when I got on the phone. That's a problem. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And Gigi, I love you. My mother is calling me while I'm on air. Hey, Mother Mom, Carter. Mom, I can't talk to you. Gigi, I'm on air right now. We can't talk right now. But I love you. I will call you uh, after. Yes, we'll go to lunch. Else. She's in town. We'll go to lunch. But, you know, yeah. like, we have to do it for ourselves. And I, and I say that all the time. Love ourselves and hopefully everyone else. And, and I don't say it in jest. I really, really do mean it. We have to love ourselves and get our mind right. Henry, I think you've given us all a homework assignment. You have yes. to, today. This is what you do: create a soundtrack for your success. Yeah. Oh, Henry. I knew you was gonna lie. I just wanted to see your reaction. I knew that you know was going. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. You know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Create a soundtrack for your success. Yes. Because when you walk out the door every day, what happens is you have to be the first one to fortify yourself. Hmm. Because when you walk out of that door and head into the world, head into the marketplace, head into wherever you're going to, there's always going to be an attempt on uh, for an assault against your joy, against your peace, hmm. against your mental stability. Against your mind. And, and, and you have yes. to fortify yourself. And Eileen says something that I think is powerful that I, and I don't want us to pass over it because I think it's going to really create breakthrough for a lot of people. She... <laughs> she talked about how she opened up and, and talked about some things and, were, and and she was incredibly transparent. What that does is the more you articulate about your past and what you've been through and what you've come from, you literally strip the enemy of ammunition. Yes. And Thank he, you, he Henry. Ha, he has to find another strategy, another entry point to aim at you because now she told what happened at 17. She's mentioned what she did 10 years ago. So now I have nothing no you ammunition. Can't shame me. Yeah. So rob get the under enemy, my feet. Rob the enemy of ammunition. Articulate <laughs> your <laughs> life. Don't. Because right. God uses everything in your past for the benefit of your future. And I'm glad I'm glad we're saying that because I, I talk about self reflection all of the all the yeah. time. And so I don't mean it as a uh you know, some people are like, Oh, it's uncomfortable. But it's no. freedom. Yeah. You know, I have been put posting pictures with freedom behind mm -hmm. it. It is is your freedom. Yeah. Walk into it. I don't yeah. know if y'all hear the happiness in my voice, but I'm really happy. And I just want y'all to be happy too. Like serious. I am right. next level happy. So I, and I, real talk. Y'all can laugh at Go me. On but Facebook like, Live. Don't y'all want something that's real? It's so know, radiant. It's I'm, like, I'm glowing it, this yeah, morning. I'm glowing yeah. this morning. Real talk. And, and I couldn't, I can't ask anybody else to do it if I don't do it myself. Absolutely. And so I put myself in the position to, to, to do it because I ask each and every one of you to do it. And yeah. I'm telling you, there is happiness on the other side of it. It may be painful, but guess what? Painful pain and misery and all that lasts for a night. The mm -hmm. sun comes up in the morning and Absolutely. joy comes in the morning. And I want all y'all to have some joy. Y'all, y'all, y'all hear my happiness? Y'all want some <laughs> of this? I'm sharing how I did it. Just like JG G said, I'm trying to, you know, give you a million dollars off of 999. 999 yeah. This free. Y'all yeah. just listen for free. I'm right. telling you how right. to get on the other side of happiness, how to live without fear and shame and all that nasty and yeah. junk and it's not like you have to go from the top of a, a hill and and release something and it's yeah, not like yeah, you yeah. have to tell everybody all no, your no, business no, no, you don't no, have to do that no. but letting it out telling a friend telling and make yeah. sure it's somebody you trust yeah, absolutely not somebody who's going to go leak it and just start you know being gossipy yeah. that is not what you want to do you want to protect yourself but really start getting out the gunk the junk the nastiness yeah. you know work on your self-reflection work on yourself love yourself it's mm -hmm. the good life i promise and then your mind will get right absolutely then your money get right 
in your relationships everything get right, falls in then everything starts to fall in the line. Y'all gonna watch this transformation of me, and y'all gonna be <laughs> like, "I wish I would have done it when she was doing it." Right. It's all right. Just get right. on. Get get on whenever you can get on. And, and that's powerful because if you're listening, hear me well. You cannot heal what you don't feel. Ooh, Henry. You cannot heal what you don't feel, and so I think God is purposely. Um, provoke, challenge Eileen's spirit, her mind to even create this on Fridays Lord, because yes. it becomes a platform of healing for people, people who look up to you because it's very easy for people to see where you are, see the lofty position they they see you in and all the things you're accomplishing, but they don't know the backstory to mm-hmm. it. And some people are thinking that, you know, their future is negated because of what their past looks like when in actuality, your past, the fact that you have a past means that you are a survivor, means that you have perseverance, yes, means that your will was stronger than your circumstance. And so every day you had to get up and, and, and thank God, hey, my will every is stronger day. than the circumstances I've come through. Yes. So you cannot heal what you don't feel. That's why people connect with you the way they connect with you because you're not talking from some lofty posture and how could you have done this and how could you have gone through it? No, no. Hmm. I've been through what you've been through. That's why God's giving you the ability, even through mass communication, and to touch lives. And, and I'm saying millions and millions and millions of lives because one day they'll be able to look back on this old reel and say, wait a minute, Dwayne, I remember when they was over there. And I'm saying me because I'm dropping the spot for me. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all heard that, right? Write that down. She gonna let me come. You my Dr. Phil. But, but <laughs> you cannot, you cannot heal, you cannot heal what you don't feel, nor can you heal anything that you don't reveal. Ooh. Say that one more time. You can't heal anything that you don't reveal. As long as it's suppressed, then it's always going to be an internal shackle. I suppressed it for my from myself yeah. for 12 years. Yeah. And I didn't even most, tell anybody after that. Right. I then started having conversations just with my immediate family maybe yeah. like 4 or 5 years after that. Mm-hmm. And then it wasn't even immediate family, it was just like my parents. Yeah. And then after that, it was like maybe two or three three friends that I'm like if I want a relationship, I need to like open that up. Yeah. And be honest about everything because, you know, I'm going to have reactions to stuff. And and if he point. doesn't do something or, or if I, you know, I'm going to have reactions and he's not going to know why I'm reacting a certain kind of way. Mm-hmm. So I first had to acknowledge it to myself because it was so uh, uh, I had buried it in my subconscious so long that yeah. it didn't even exist. Yeah. It literally did not exist. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, I started, um, you know, one step at a time opening up. But this is. 20 years later, yeah. like what we do affects us Absolutely. and how we handle things and how we release things can literally affect your entire life. And I don't want you to go through what I went through. I don't wish it on anybody, yeah. no matter what the circumstances. I want you to be free. I don't like happiness and joy. And and you can't even feel some of those things because you're the pain is is is, is just overlapping it and icing it like a cake that even when yeah. happy stuff happens, you can't even totally feel feel it because you've been in pain so long that you don't even know what it feels like. And the worst thing is when pain just Sucks. becomes normal. Ooh, yes, that is the worst thing when pain becomes <laughs> it, normal. It's just normal. And, no, and, don't and, and when, like that. when things good happen, you can't perceive it as good because bad has been there so long right. that it feel it doesn't feel normal. Right. It, 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 it's more comfortable yeah. being in pain because the the unknown is is scarier. Yeah. Like pain, I know what this yeah, feels yeah. like. I'm comfortable in this pain, but you see, walking through this, yeah, that's unknown. That's scary. I don't yeah. want to do that. Yeah, and 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 we can speak of that in so many different aspects with regard to you know even even voting. Yeah. You know, I'm comfortable in this pain. I right. am comfortable with my streets <laughs> not being done. I am comfortable with my lights being off. I am comfortable with this crime. Yeah. But you know what? When they have new candidates that put themselves out there, mm-mm, I'm not comfortable with them. They look what they look like. Mm-mm, I'm going to go right back to what I'm doing. Well, guess what? Then you're going to get the same thing. I'm just saying educate yourself on the, the candidates who the people are out there because I'm, I'm rolling the show up together. Mm-hmm, you see how that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you're, so, you know. You're the quintessential professional. <laughs> and I'm going to just tell everybody that uh, she knows what she's doing. Now, trust me. She's got this so thing. We, we want you to educate yourself. We want you to pull it in. You know, it's Marketplace Monday. We pour into you motivationally. You know, we yeah. wrap that up at the end. But it really is still about your money and your community because if we don't get our money and our community together, our mind is going to stay in this this uh this this lapse of judgment to be perfectly honest and so the event last night um she challenged us she said with this shift she used this one word and i know that you're going to appreciate this word i'm gonna let you go into it yeah reset 
Yeah. She said you, she don't want to restore because when you restore something, you're bringing it back to the original state. We don't want to do that. No. We want to reset it. We want to start again. We want to be able to build, build. And even if it's in your relationship, if you haven't been on mm-hmm. on the same path in a relationship or on the, on on the on the same page, you know what? Reset. Yeah. Don't restore it to where it was. You want to reset it. You want to rebuild, create reset. a foundation. And that what Beyonce and Jay-Z did, you know, all the, the nasty <laughs> stuff he did, you know, she said, okay, let's reset. He said it was literally one of the hardest things that he's ever done in his life. But look where they are today when they decided to reset. Yeah. So I reach out to every one of you today, and there is a shift going on, and I invite you to reset your lives with love, compassion, tolerance, and understanding. Don't miss the Henry. shift. Don't, don't miss, miss the, shift. the shift. Don't do miss not. the shift. Don't miss uh, the shift. Don't miss the shift. Whatever, Whatever you, you do, don't Whatever miss Whatever you miss, don't miss the shift. Henry. Yes. How can they follow you? All you got to do is go to any social All media platform and look is. for Henry Bolden, mm-hmm. H-E-N-R-Y, B-O-L-D-E-N. Or you can email me directly, hbolden3 at yahoo.com. I will personally respond to you. Email. Email. Or just look for wherever Eileen Carter is. And when you see her out and just say, hey, is that Henry guy anywhere around? Can you get in touch with him? She'll put you in touch with me. I, I, I can do that. She got the hookup. I, you know? I, I got the hookup. I do. I have the hookup. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in today and make sure that you tune yes. in each and every show. The Good Life Radio Show on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We are live on Facebook and Instagram. So make sure that you follow us and please share. Why? Because it's the good life. Yes. Uh, and if you are interested in joining the show, we are growing. I have a lot of new segments that are coming up. We're going to be doing some fun stuff. I'm excited about it. Um, we're going to have a, I can't tell you. Ha, ha, ha. We're going to have, but we are going to have shirts. I'm, they're probably coming out in the next two or three weeks. I will be excited so you can follow me and see my shirt and then I will show you where to purchase it. Mm-hmm. And you can go online if you'd like to join the Good Life Radio Show. TGLRadioShow.com. Very easy. TGLRadioShow.com. You can see our rates. You can see our packages. And if there's something that you want to create for you, just give us a call at 504-400-7127. That is 504-400-7127. Join the Good Life today with me, Eileen, and Henry. He's only here on Mondays, though. Yeah, he, don't want, he don't want to share. They don't let me come around no. too much. Mm -mm. I have a spiritual canopy around me. (laughs) (laughs) We each and every one of us need one, right? (laughs) Henry, real talk from early in the morning. See, y'all got to be here. It's the prophetic, y'all. It's the prophetic. It's a good life, y'all, and we're out.